Hello, welcome to Allen Baptist Church Daily Bible Study. We've been looking at uh, characters of the Bible uh, in an alphabetical order, but I want to uh, move away from that today, this being uh, what is called Good Friday, uh, or where we recall the suffering of Christ. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's a phrase in the New Testament used by Peter in 1 Peter chapter 2, used by Paul in 2 Corinthians. Uh, it's a phrase that says, uh, sufferings of Christ. Um, that word in the original language that was written in, in Greek, uh, pasco, uh, it means to be deeply aff affected by something. Uh, it's often translated passion. Uh, it's where we get uh, 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 the, the phrase, the passion of Christ, which is oftentimes referred to in his crucifixion, the pas passion of Christ. And the fact is, we are called as followers of Christ to be uh, passionate people who are moved by the world around us. We are brokenhearted by the sin that we see around us. It's, it's closely related to what Jesus said in the Sermon on the Mount, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The suffering of Christ, the passion uh, of Christ. Uh, we too often focus on the negative of suffering, where there is a, as we've expressed, a positive side of suffering or passion, and that is having a passion for the right thing, so much so that you will endure anything in order to accomplish the task. That's what the writer of Hebrews had in mind when he was speaking about the passion of Christ in uh, chapter 12, uh, starting with verse 1. It says, Therefore, since we have so great a cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also lay aside every encumbrance and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against himself, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Jesus set the example in his passion or in his sufferings that it wasn't that he was passionate about being nailed to a cross. He wasn't passionate about a crown of thorns. He wasn't passionate about uh, a spear in the side or being beaten. This would be masochistic. No, Christ was passionate for the joy that was set before him of seeing the task accomplished of our salvation because he was so passionate for saving us and loving us, he endured the suffering. So it is the passion of Christ. And as the writer of Hebrews says, and P Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 2, and as Paul repeats in 2 Corinthians, uh, that we are to have this same passion in our life. Use him as an example of suffering and passion, that we're so passionate about the gospel of Jesus Christ and seeing people saved that we will endure anything to accomplish that task. Be reminded of that as you think about his death on the cross on this Good Friday. God bless you.